Hey everyone, Matt's Mox here, and today we're going to look at the oldest of my project engines that I still have, and also the largest of the Lackawanna Motive Power, well, if you exclude the Brass Mikado, but uh, this is the Lackawanna Pacific, so let me move out of the way. It's kind of ironic that it's called the Pacific, even though uh, Lackawanna ran to the Atlantic, but... Here we have it. She is a big one, and she is built out of a lot of things. Still needs some work to be finished, but you know, as with every engine, I've wanted to, I have it done enough where it runs, and I could show it off, does, you know, what I need to do, but not done enough to really say it's ex exhibition worthy yet. So, uh, it's based off one of the 1100 series engines, well, all of them are 1100s, uh, the passenger variant, there was a freight variant which had smaller drivers, but that is more details, and was built out of a Mahano, or IHC, uh, 460. The tender is uniquely enough, I believe, a late Bowser Penzi tender, I don't know how I managed to end up with that, Actually, I do know that came with the brass engine. That was a modification someone made. I modified it again to have these uh, tops. It looks the part. It's the right height. So that's fine. The truck on this side is actually a brass Lackawanna tender truck that I had spare. I only had one, though. I need to find or make a second one. So, yeah. The engine is done up for its 1930s look. Although you could also say an earlier time, but I like them all the later design. Dual air pumps, you know, simple added on details to really make it pop. You have the correct mounted dynamo bell, the other stuff above the cab, the outside turret. On the front, of course, this was missing its old smoke box, so I had to build a new one. Again, this is an old engine, so it's not that great. It's got the marker lights in the right spot. Of course, the headlight is actually wired. That's a rare thing for me to do. And, of course, the correct type of headlight for a Lackawanna engine. Firebox was built up with uh, clay. It was an experiment. Didn't really work out too well. I might paper over it at some point. Uh, if you notice right here, you have the horn. Because the Lackawanna modified many of their passenger locomotives and a few of the freight ones with horns over time. Because even though whistles worked pretty good, the horns were able to cut through the fog of the dense uh, Delaware water gap. And of course, you know, you have this side. Kind of basic. Very simple. Uh, the engine does have DCC. You can see uh, this is actually off the uh, Mikado. And the paintwork is not great. I do need to do some more finishing work. But I figured it's been sitting around here. I might as well show it off. It's got probably the most unique look of all my engines. Just because of all the silver lining. To make it more accurate. And it will have a coal load when it's done. But for now it's just kind of an empty bunk. I'm not sure which number I'm going to do this yet. I don't want to do it as 1104, because if I do 1104, I want to really make a nice looking engine. That's the one that was in the, uh, the wreck in New Jersey. But uh, this one is not going to be that one. It's going to be one of the standard uh, mainline ones. You know, it's just a nice engine. It runs pretty decent. It was rebuilt with a can motor and a flywheel. It's kind of hard to see in there. So it's got a Kato motor on a Mahano. Yeah. But that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.